Greetings friends and fellow aliens and welcome to my channel and this video, video number eight in a 10 video series all about cognitive distortions. Ways that you think, distorted ways of thinking in your own mind that skew the world around you towards a negative perspective, an unwarranted negative perspective, things that hold you back from being a good, happy person out there. So I wanna just try and shine light on all of these different things, these internal logical fallacies that we have in the way that we think, because they're not accurate. And a lot of times they cause more harm than good to you and everyone around you. Our last video was on mislabeling. I had a lot of fun with that one. This one is the control fallacy. The control fallacy is has a duality to it, right? This is saying that either Everything is outside of your control. There's nothing you can do about absolutely anything. Your lot in life is what it is, and that's that. It's just all up to destiny and fate. The flip side to this is to say that you must control absolutely everything about everything around you and everybody around you. Neither of these are healthy. I think it's important to note that nobody in this world is in control of absolutely every circumstance around them or in their life. Likewise, Nobody in this world is completely out of control of everything around them and everything in their life. You have decisions to make. There is personal responsibility involved in some of the things that you are doing and the way that you conduct yourself. And likewise, you cannot control absolutely everything. Not everything is your responsibility. You are. So why is this bad, right? Why is it bad to assume that you can control everything around you? Well, you can't. You can't make somebody love you. You can't make somebody appreciate you. You can't control the feelings and emotions of other people that are around you. Assuming that you can control all of these things in other people is some really, that's like some puppet master shit going on in your brain. It's not real and you can't, and you aren't responsible for all of these other people either. And that's something that's really important to let go of. You may have a friend that is really melancholy, somebody that's in a bad mood for any number of reasons. Taking that and internalizing it and saying that you need to control that person's emotion to make them happier, that is not a healthy thing to do. That's not a healthy way to see it. You can be supportive of that person and you can offer a hand, but their feelings, their melancholy mood, their despair, all of those other things, that is not your responsibility. We are each responsible for ourselves and ourselves only. Granted, if you have kids, apparently you got to feed them like every other Tuesday or whatever. So like there's some responsibility for other people. But again, that is your responsibility as a human and as a parent, right? Their, their happiness, yes, you can do things to affect that circumstance. But you are ultimately not responsible for everybody's happiness everywhere. It is not all your fault. It is not all your responsibility. And you shouldn't be bringing that upon yourself. Likewise, you can't look at the world and say that absolutely everything is outside of your control. Because then you're distancing yourself a little too far from everything and everybody. And you're just saying that, well, it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm gonna be a failure. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm never gonna make more money. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm never gonna have the things that I wanna have. It doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter what I do. Nothing is up to me, whatever, it's in somebody else's hands. There's nothing wrong with having faith, but when you're looking at these circumstances, and you're saying that absolutely everything is just your lot in life and that's it, that's not accurate. Yes, you are responsible for yourself. You are responsible for your own thoughts. You are responsible for your own feelings. You are responsible not for an event that happens, right? Something, some kind of a catastrophe that befalls you, right? That is not, that catastrophe happening, that meteor hitting your car, that was not your responsibility. That was completely and totally outside of your control. It's important to understand what you can and cannot control. What you can control is your reaction to it. If something tragic happens, yeah, you can mourn and you are in control of that. It doesn't mean that that's your lot in life is only tragedy. Likewise, you can start to reason with yourself and affect yourself in a positive way saying, okay, well, what changes can I make? Let's say you had a relationship that fell apart. And saying that the way the other person was feeling when they were immediately just distanced and not in love with you anymore or whatever else, saying that that is your responsibility is not accurate. That's how they felt. You cannot control 
how somebody else's feel. You can't make them feel a certain way. Those of you who have ever been in a relationship with a narcissist know this all too well. What you can do is control your reaction to the circumstance. You can take the L, right? Take the loss and understand what you need to do to be a better person, to be more whole, to attract the things that you want to attract in life. Those are the things that you need to do and you need to take responsibility for. One of my favorite books is Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand, right? Atlas Shrugged is a book that a lot of people get really triggered by because they say that she's selfish and so on and so forth. There's nothing wrong with personal responsibility. There's nothing wrong with saying that this is something that I am responsible for and I want to do the things that make me happy. It is okay to be a little selfish. This is your life. It's one life. This is all you got, right? You're not going to spend that life just doing things for other people and assuming that absolutely everything in the world is your responsibility. That's a terrible way to live. So this is actually my first tattoo is an Atlas shrug tattoo. It's the Atlas from the front cover of the book. And it says underneath there, I swear by my life and my love of it that I'll never live for the sake of another man nor ask another man to live for mine, which is, which is basically saying that I am not here to simply serve other people. It's not my goal. I, I do that. I do things for other people because it makes me happy and it fulfills me. But it is not my job to be in servitude of others. And likewise, I'm never going to be the person that says that other people need to live their life to serve me. And that's what that quote says. And that's why that book is very impactful for me and really forms a lot of my views about how I conduct myself, how I see my friends and how I see the world at large. Do I see people that are expecting entitlement all the time to me? That's just gross. And likewise, do I see people who are just sacrificing everything about themselves for others and at the detriment of their self, of themselves? That's gross too. There's nothing wrong with being an individual and there's nothing wrong with understanding that certain things are within your control and certain things are outside of the control, but you can always control how you react. You can always control to learn and understand a little bit better. Those are all things that we can do. And so this control fallacy, this distorted way of thinking that you can mold others a certain way or that the way people are is somehow imprinting upon you and is your responsibility. That's just a really terrible way to live. It either puts everything in your control and you become a control freak. And then when something doesn't work out your way, you fall apart or you just become really callous and you just kind of don't care. And that's not a great way to live either. I hope you understood my message on this one. And I hope this one helped. If you are somebody that struggles with those control issues or somebody that over sacrifices yourself trying to control others or control their mood when you really shouldn't, let me know in the comments. And like every video, I will ask you, please consider joining this channel, joining uh, with a membership. It's just a couple bucks and you get access to our private Facebook group uh, for members only. We're hanging out on there, having all sorts of fun, just good conversation with great people and um, custom emojis and members only content. And so I would appreciate it if you support the channel this way. Every little bit of support, even if it's just a little donation on the tip jar or buy the book or whatever, helps me to create content like this to reach out to you to hopefully give people a little bit more positivity in their life and help you out, right? That's all I'm trying to do here. So thank you so much for watching this one. Video number nine, I think. Yes, number nine out of 10. And the last one is coming up. The last one is, oh, the last one's about always being right. No, oh, no, oh, there we go. Triggered already, right? I will see you on that one. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. See you in the comments and on the next video.